Hi, I'm Helen Sword. This is Helen's Word, and welcome to day one of this five-day stay-home writing retreat. If you've prepared for the retreat by watching my Before the Retreat video, you'll already have a notebook and a pencil or pen in front of you, and you'll have recorded both a time goal, that is, how long do you plan to spend writing each day this week, and a content goal, what specific piece or pieces of writing do you plan to work on? We'll be revisiting those goals at the beginning and end of each day to check how things are going. And we're also going to add one new goal each day associated with what I call the space of writing. That is the social, physical, aesthetic, cognitive, and emotional dimensions of your writing practice. So grab your notebook and pen, and let's get ready to write. Today we're going to focus on the S in space, that is the social aspects of your writing practice. Most writers spend the majority of their writing time working in solitude or at least inside a kind of cognitive bubble. Even if you usually publish with co-authors, you probably do most of your actual writing and editing alone in front of a computer. And yet, humans are deeply social beings, and writing itself is a deeply social activity. We write to communicate, to connect with other people, and even when we're writing just for ourselves, say in a reflective journal, we're likely to end up writing a lot about our human relationships. The best writing retreats, in my experience, strike a finely tuned balance between the social and solitary dimensions of writing. They give you plenty of time on your own to read and write and think, but they also bring you together throughout the day with other writers so you can talk with each other and reflect on how your writing is going, maybe give each other some hands-on feedback. And even during the day when you're all inside your cognitive bubbles, writing individually in silence, you're buoyed up emotionally by the presence of other writers working around you. At a stay-home writing retreat, however, you have none of that built-in social support from your peers, which means you'll need to be proactive and intentional about establishing a supportive social network yourself. So I'd like you to open your notebook and, first of all, Remind yourself of the two goals that you've already set for yourself this week, your daily time goal and your content goal, which you might now like to refine into a specific content goal for today. Then I'd like you to add to those two goals a new daily social goal. That is a commitment to communicating every day this week with at least one other human being about your writing. Now, maybe you've already got a writing buddy or a virtual writing group lined up to accompany you through this stay-home retreat. If so, you could write that you'll commit to texting each other a daily time goal or content goal each morning before you start your retreat, where you could gather for a brief Zoom meeting at the end of each day to talk about what you've been working on and how things went, or whatever. But if you don't already have a social network lined up, I'd like you to, right now, write down the name of one person, at least one person, that you're going to invite into that otherwise closed bubble of your writing practice every day this week, or maybe a different person each day. So for example, you could send off an email right now to a faraway friend who's also a writer, encouraging them to join this virtual writing retreat. And then tomorrow night at dinner time, you could ask to share a paragraph of your writing with a family member who lives with you, and so forth. 
whatever form of human connection works for you to support your writing practice. And then once you've written down your social goal or goals for this week, it's time to get started. If you click on the tomato link at the end of this video, you'll be taken straight into a 25-minute timed writing sprint known as a pomodoro. Or you might like to try one of my quick writing warm-ups to get your writing juices flowing. Or you can just dive straight in. Thanks for showing up to write, and I'll see you later today.